Hey there everyone, I'm New 6 meteorologist Samara Kokinas. This is your Central Florida weather update. High temperatures today got up to 92 degrees, just one degree above normal, but it felt hotter just because of that humid air that's in place. And then we started seeing a few scattered showers and isolated thunderstorm or two, but notice the activity is not widespread. We're just seeing a few showers and thunderstorms lingering along the Flagler County coastline for now, even though we did get a little bit of rain in and around the metro and areas to the north. Heading into the rest of tonight, maybe a few more scattered showers here and there, but I think for the most part after sunset, things are going to start to wind down. And then as we head into overnight, mainly clear sky, it's going to be very mild and a little on the muggy side. Here's the setup, and as we take a look at what's working with us right now, we have this front that is headed our way. The thing about this front is it's going to stay to our north, so we're still going to see rain chances, but they're going to be very minimal just with a ridge of high pressure kind of building into our south. So that's going to kind of cap our rain chances for the next couple of days. By midweek, that next system could get close enough where we could see heightened rain chances by, I would say, Wednesday, went late Wednesday going into early Thursday, but again, they're not going to be as widespread as they have been. High temperatures tomorrow will range from the upper 80s, the low and even mid 90s. It'll feel like the triple digits. A few isolated sprinkles of rain could pop up just outside Osceola County before noon, but most of central Florida is going to be dry. And it's not until the second half of the afternoon where we start to see these showers. Notice they stay south of Orlando, maybe skirting the southmost portion of Orlando and making their way to the east through about six o'clock tomorrow night. And again, that rain chance is very minimal. We're we're only talking about 20% across most of the area, 30% for, I would say, Sanford, Orlando going down to Kissimmee. I think they've kind of oversold that pop right there in Melbourne at 40%. I think it'll be even less than that, near 20 or 30%. For tonight, mainly clear skies with lows near 74. Here's a look at tomorrow. Your daytime high temperature will rebound to 93. Again, your rain coverage between 20 and 30%. Now let's get you some results and show your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Heading into the upcoming week, boy, do we crank up the heat. Notice your high temperature goes up to 97 by Thursday, but not before that next weather maker gets close enough to, I think, bump up that rain chance to 40% there on Wednesday, which is also Flag Day. It turns breezy on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, heading into Father's Day weekend. We stay hot, feeling like 100 to 105 with temperatures in the mid-90s each afternoon. I'm meteorologist Samara Kokinas.